Hey, and welcome to another product video. My name is Felix Daud, Insights Manager here at Dayton Run. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create industry or peer heat maps using topics of your interest or the top reporting topics. In order to find inspiration on topics you might want to strengthen your communication next year, it's helpful to identify companies that are putting a high level of emphasis on those topics. Heat maps are an easy representation of huge amounts of data that are color coded and lead you directly without detour to the data you are interested in. In Data Run, heat maps are a detailed view on your benchmarking analysis. While in Benchmark you're getting a high level analysis on your top topics, you cannot immediately see which companies report on which topics to which extent. The heat map function will help you to identify examples of companies you can then check out in the reports browser. Let's jump right into Data Run to see how this works in practice. In this demo case, we are looking at the example of PacWest Bancorp and how to use the heat map function to simply identify companies that report to a higher emphasis on topics PacWest is not mentioning in their 2018 annual financial report. Firstly, you need to go to the benchmark module of Datamron. The filter on the left hand side set automatically according to your profile settings. You can modify every filter to your needs. In this demo, we want to analyze the banking services sector in the United States in which PacWest Bank Corp operates. So we set the sector to banking services, choose United States as country, and select annual financial reports as a source alongside 2018 as the year of review. After you set the filters, press update analysis to run your benchmark analysis for the US banking services sector. In this first view, you can see which 20 topics out of Datamon's 100 ESG related topics are most emphasized among the sector. This view is very high level and doesn't provide you with the level of detail we want in this example case. In order to analyze which topics PacWest might want to look at, we need to find out which topics the company lags behind. Therefore, click on heat map on the top right hand side. This opens a new window with the same parameters you set in the benchmarking module, as well as the top 20 topics as parameters in the heat map. Click on generate heat map to create a spreadsheet file, which includes the companies in the sector, as well as the individual emphasis scores on each of the top 20 topics. As you can see, PacWest Bank is placing no emphasis on community support and development, responsible pricing, corporate culture, as well as responsible tax practices. Let's say the company now wants to find out which company is placing a high emphasis on those topics to learn from their reporting. We now can in seconds identify that, for example, Citigroup Inc. is placing a high emphasis on all of those topics. You can as well identify other companies that place a high emphasis on those topics individually. Your next step now would be to check out in the company view how Citibank is reporting on those topics and what PacWest can learn from their reporting. In a previous video, I showed you in detail how you can use the company view function to identify those reporting best practices. This is how you identify best practices in corporate reporting in two simple steps, which do not cost you more than 10 minutes of your time. This gives you plenty of more time to focus on strategy and implementation to your next report. I hope you enjoyed this video and are now able to use the heat map function. If you have questions regarding this or any other feature of Datamron, contact your personal account manager or write an email to success at datamron.com. We will get in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, do not hesitate to use the chat function on the bottom right in Datamron to immediately get connected to one of our staff members which are waiting for your questions. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.